Hello, Leos, my awesome lions and lionesses, as I love to call you, Leos. I missed you guys. I hope you had a wonderful, uh, relaxing weekend. And if you did have to work, I hope you found some leisure time for yourself uh, that you are deserving. We all deserve leisure time to rest and relax, right? Leo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally what's on their mind what they thinking feeling at this time especially in relation to you leo let's do this universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of leo for leo's highest good please universe please show us what's coming up for leo in their life and how is leo currently doing on their soulmate journey What's coming up for Leo in their life? And how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Leo, what's happening? Wow. There are some things in your life that make you feel bored, like you're tired of the routine. Yeah, you're tired of everyday routine at times, which I understand. I totally understand that this is you feeling like you feel major changes are coming to your life major changes yeah for the better you see this this is rebirth regeneration spiritual awakening of some sort oh this is you celebrating something so you're going to be celebrating some kind of accomplishment of yours whatever it is it could be something to do with work family loved ones friends you're going to be celebrating some kind of accomplishment oh this is beautiful so this is you letting go of some kind of toxic situation or connection or relationship successfully this is you releasing successfully something that was uh, making you feel depressed was holding you down yeah it was uh feeling making you feel depressed yeah this is good. The devil reversed. That's the only time I like the devil card when it's reversed. You're going to successfully release something. Yeah. Uh, let go of it for good. Mm, I'm happy for you. Some kind of information coming to you. Unexpected communication information. But this also means you're going to have an opportunity to travel somewhere. Um, yeah, it's going to be good for you. It doesn't mean you have to travel, but you get an opportunity to do so. It will feel very good for you, though. It's good to sometimes uh, leave the routine behind, at least for a little while, to recharge your batteries, right? Yeah, it's good to take those mini vacations whenever we can. It doesn't have to be far away trip. It could be somewhere close nearby your home, but uh, it's good to break up the routine right everyday routine it's it's necessary to do that sometimes yeah to clear your mind universe this is good because it's reversed universe please show us what's coming up for leo in their life and how is leo currently doing on their summit journey Ooh. yeah so you let your soulmate go so this is for those of you Leos who walked away from a soulmate relationship that became toxic. Yeah, uh, something went wrong and you decided it was best for you to leave. Yeah, it was something that caused you a lot of heartbreak, distress, yeah, emotional pain. And you view yourself as single, available. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you're showing up here as very enigmatic person very independent person yeah you let go of something toxic from your life your soulmate is sad yeah they're showing up here as very regretful sad 
Yeah, this is you. You felt, even though you were in a relationship, but because it was heading in the wrong direction, you felt alone in it. You felt abandoned, unloved, unappreciated. Yeah, you see, it had to break up. Yeah, so you had to walk away from something that became toxic in your life, drained you, exhausted you, made you feel unloved, unappreciated, and you decided to let it go. The tower moment had to happen. Universe, please show us. So you found something out uh, that was drastic. Yeah, so whether this person had somebody else, didn't tell you, or something serious was hidden, you found out about it. Yeah, Universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo in their life and how is Leo currently doing on the soulmate journey. Look how strong you are. Yeah, you see, there were a lot of fights, disagreements of serious nature. You see this? This is you feeling very heartbroken. You haven't really told uh, your soulmate how deeply wounded you felt, heartbroken. You, you kept a lot inside. This is you very carefully um, looking at everyone in your life. You don't want to worry people that you care about. Yeah, this is you very carefully not showing uh, your relatives or friends, how deeply wounded, heartbroken you feel inside. This is you kind of holding back, not showing it. You feel it deeply, but you don't show it. Yeah. Ooh, who is this new soulmate? Lovers showing up here. Somebody else entering your life. Remember, Leo, uh, you have free will to decide who you want or don't want to be with. Yeah, this is you taking care of yourself right now. This is you healing from something, whether it's emotional healing or physical healing. You felt uh, low on energy, tired, exhausted, drained. Maybe you even felt sick physically, and this is you trying to gain your strength back, your energy back. Yeah. Your energy is beautiful. You're showing up here as very grounded, uh, very faithful in relationships. Yeah, this is you showing up as very good at your job or business. Mm, beautiful energy showing up on you. This is you gaining your strength back, your energy back. Yeah. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo and how is Leo currently doing on the soulmate journey. In about a minute, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo. Wow, yeah, you see, look at this. This is you walking away from people who bring you drama, whether it's at work or in the neighborhood or circle of friends. This is you recognizing that you want peace. You don't want to be around drama. That's draining your energy. Yeah, this is you not allowing people drag you into the gossip circles. Yeah, staying away from toxicity. Appreciating yourself. Oh, yeah. This is you appreciating your peace and quiet, spending time in nature, yes. Yeah, you want alone time, you do. You want to retreat in solitude, yeah. You're showing up here as having a lot of wisdom, great intuition. Yeah, you are very careful who you trust, yeah. This is you looking over everything in your life and trying to learn important lessons, yeah. This is you being very wise, not rushing into anything frivolous. Yeah. Let's see what's going on with the soulmate of yours that you let go of. In the extended reading, we're going to ask about both of them since they both showed up. The new soulmate and the soulmate you let go of. And it was to show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo that Leo let go of. And how is that soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo? And how is the soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time? Leo, I decided to start fasting today. I'm going to do it for several days um, just to allow my body to regenerate to release any toxins that my body is holding to. So I'll let you know how I'm doing. Yeah, today's my first day. And I'm shocked that it's not as difficult as I thought it would be. Uh, when I put my mind to something, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so I'm very determined. So I want to do it for several days just on 
uh, water, uh, clean water, and uh, water with apple cider vinegar. One spoon of apple cider vinegar in the morning and then just water for like three, four days. Yeah, so I'll, I'll let you know how it goes for me. Uh, I'm very determined. Yeah, let's do this. Your soulmate. Oh, they want to come back to you. Yeah, they determined. This person wants to come back to you with something solid. Yeah, I do like the Ace of Pentacles. I do. That's that's my favorite Ace. Yeah, they want you back in their life. This person loves you. Yeah, they do love you. Hmm. Yeah, they do. This is them trying to be very brave to approach you. So this person realizes why you had to let go of this relationship, which is a good sign, which means when we see the mistakes that we make uh, and admit to them, we can correct them, right? We all make mistakes. There's no such thing as a perfect person. But the important thing is for us to recognize the mistakes so we learn from it and not continuously repeat it, right? Oh, this person's in love. This person is totally in love with you. King of Cups. Maybe they realized that after they lost you, whatever the circumstances, this person's in love with you. Yeah, that's why they want to come back. Oh, they scared of you. They they scared of your judgment, uh, rejection. You told them off. You told them goodbye. You told them what time it is. You were very honest, direct, blunt. You didn't sugarcoat. Yeah, you left. Mm -hmm. You let them go. You're very guarded emotionally because you endured a lot of heartbreak in this relationship. That's why you're showing up here uh, guarding your heart with this armor. You see this? Uh, of all nights, night of swords is the most guarded emotionally. This is you protecting yourself. So you were very honest with this person as to why you leaving, why you letting go of this relationship. This person has deep passion and love for you. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo and how is the soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time? Wow, this person wants you back. Um, you guys were involved many lifetimes. Yeah, this is a, a relationship from many lifetimes. Mm-hmm. You two have a long-standing soul history together. Um, this was a serious relationship. When I say serious, I mean you were either living together, engaged, married, or planning to be married. This was a serious relationship. It wasn't something frivolous, like dating a few dates, and then you decided to let them go. This was a serious relationship, which means that you had to put up with a lot in order for you to let go of this relationship. Yeah. It means you went through a lot of emotional roller coasters, sleepless nights, tears, heartbreak. Yeah, this person is absolutely devastated emotionally over losing you, heartbroken over losing you. The worst card in the whole deck, Three of Swords. And the way it's depicted here, it shows that's how they view you, walking away from them with great disappointment on your face. But here they... Uh, uh, seen crying with tear dropping down their cheek and their hand over the mouth as if not wanting to be seen by anyone as heartbroken. This person has hard time showing that they are emotionally vulnerable. They don't like to show they are emotionally vulnerable. They don't like to show they are heartbroken. Yeah, you see? So this shows me clearly that this person blames themselves for losing you. They fault themselves for losing you. So um, they use some kind of poor judgment somewhere along the way in this relationship and uh, made some serious mistake. And they see it now that it wasn't worth uh, losing you over. Yeah, this is them. The good thing is that they see very clearly what went wrong and what needs to be corrected. They see very clearly, which is a good sign. This person totally loves you. They try to completely let you go, not think of you, not miss you, not love you, and it's not working. They're not able to let you go. When you add these swords, six of swords with three of swords becomes nine of swords, which matches five of cups. 
but this is more mental, this is more emotional, but it means the same thing. It means that this person feels enormous amount of guilt, regret, heartbreak for losing you. Yeah, they regret it deeply. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo and how is the soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time? This is how they view you. They have enormous amount of respect for you. They view you as someone who is marriage material, someone who is uh, grounded, someone who is attractive, enigmatic, someone who is a catch in a relationship, someone who is very independent, yeah, stable, on your own, yeah. Ooh, they're not used to people like you. No, this person is not used to people like you. You are of high quality person you see they now they see a difference between people other people and you in their life you see this they view you as someone who is like a beacon of light in the sky you see this view you very differently from others whatever it is you're concentrating on Leo at your job or business you're going to be successful you see this is you bringing profit and money and making wise financial decisions for yourself this also means some kind of purchase of uh, value, could be investment or some kind of big purchase, whether it's a car or a house or apartment, whatever it is. Yeah, this is good. You see, now they see your worth value, Empress energy, highly vibrational. So this person lost you and they realize your worth after they lost you. I think you were so readily available for them in their life that they took it for granted. They thought, oh, Leo will always be there. They got used to it. And I think we are like that, right? When we have something every day in front of our face, it's easy to take it for granted because it's always there, right? Till it's gone. And then we realize its value. And that goes for people in our life, right? We, we have somebody every day and we're like, oh, okay, it's going to be there. And then it's gone. Then we realize it's value, right? Whew, this person is so stressed out. For them to feel this deep, intense love for you and not be able to be with you is exhausting to them. You see, look at all this weight on their shoulders, all this stress, anxiety, anxiety, stress, heartbreak. Look at all this. Mm, both of you have been through a lot. Yeah, let me see what's going on here. Then we go, we're going to go to your extended universe. Please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo. And how is the soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time? Yeah, this is them looking carefully over everything that transpired, that happened. This person wants to be wise in making decisions. In how to approach this yeah you see this was a serious relationship yeah serious relationship between you two they miss you a lot look at all these pentacles look how scared they are they're so scared of your rejection judgment of finding out that this is truly the end that there's no new chapter we're going to go into your extended reading leo but we're going to ask about both soulmates first this soulmate that wants to come back for communication clarity and then towards the end we're going to ask about the new soulmate so first we're going to ask about this soulmate's true genuine long-term intentions and plans for you what they planning long term then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you what they have up their sleeve whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life that showed up minutes ago, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Leo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.